The way I man manage cultural differences is you just get a crazy haircut and <laughs> it's all off. You know, everything they expect from a typical Asian girl, they don't get from me. Just And they, they know that off the bat, that, you know, I am not the norm. I don't like to follow rules and stuff. But on the opposite end, actually, I do like to follow rules. <laughs> I'm a lot more conservative than people think in a lot of ways, but I'm liberal in lots of ways too. But, you know, I think, especially for Asian women, I think it, it is really hard, especially I think if they're a career woman because they're not expected to be as driven, they're not expected to be as strong. Um, ironically, in the Vietnamese community, women are very strong. They are the matriarch of the family. My mother was the one that bought all of our businesses that, you know, that our family owned. And my dad was like the laid back one, you know, kind of let her do whatever she wanted. Um, for a long time, I mean, you know, Mama Dao, Mama Dao is all you would ever hear from Chloe and I. And people are like, did your dad, is he around? <laughs> in a multicultural world. I think being Asian is, it's kind of like this weird um, um, ethnic ethnicity that can kind of float between a lot of different ethnicities. And we're, I don't, may, I don't know if it's because we assimilate really well. We really do. I mean, whatever we're thrown into, you know, we can assimilate into it. But, you know, I think crossing the boundaries of race, it's a little easier and stuff. But I think for myself and even with my sister Chloe, what we've done here in Houston is we've used that as a bridge versus of just a way to network. We've used it as a bridge and we've tried to bridge people, especially in the fashion industry and everyone we know to say, hey, you know, we can really all come together and make this work. It's such a diverse city and let's benefit from it.